Russians lost tens of thousands of soldiers in Avdiivka offensive, more than city's population. The Russians suffered tens of thousands of casualties in Avdiivka, more than the population of the city itself, Ukrainian Freedom Legion Major Maxim Morozov said on national television. This 30,000-strong Avdiivka has become a bone in the Muscovite's throat, he said. I believe that the enemy has suffered more losses in terms of killed, not to mention wounded, than the population of Avdiivka itself. The city's population was 36,000 before the full-scale Russian invasion. Unfortunately, when the first attacks were repulsed, the enemy, thanks to its agents, realized a certain problem in the situation in the Avdiivka sector. Namely, that there was a great shortage of artillery shells, a shortage of kamikaze drones, and a problem with infantry rotation. Morozov said, noting that the enemy is able to quickly restore the mobilization reserve. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sirsky reported on February the 17th that the Ukrainian army had withdrawn from Avdiivka, Donetsk Oblast after four months of intense fighting and regular attacks by the Russian troops. This decision was made to avoid encirclement and to save the lives and health of the soldiers. During the final stages of the battle for Avdiivka, Donetsk Oblast, hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers might have been captured by Russian forces, the New York Times reported, citing senior Western officials and Ukrainian military. Two unnamed Ukrainian soldiers told the newspaper that an estimated 850 to 1,000 Ukrainian troops might have been taken prisoner or are considered missing in action during the recent withdrawal from Avdiivka. Western officials stated that these numbers seem accurate.